This is it. Only attention is on Lionel Messi. The question is, can he finish his career as the top scoring player ever? He's just 15 goals away. This will come down to the wire. Well, buckle up. Barcelona, Manchester City, the round of 16 in the Champions League. And with Messi 15 goals from glory, he is given license to shoot whenever he wants this episode. And he's going to be our focal point in attack, but we're going to be very reliant on the player for goals. You can see three or four great chances here early in the match, but unfortunately for us, some great saves from Ederson mean we do not find a goal. And then it all comes to a head as Manchester City score the opening goal. Lovely pass through to Jesus. And then he is not to be outdone by Kevin De Bruyne. My God, take a bow. 2-0 loss. Things not looking great for us there, but... We don't have any time to worry about the Champions League. With an 8th place finish on the horizon for Barcelona in the league, we have 12 games to turn it around. And with Lionel Messi chasing that goal records, we give him the start up top over Sergi. But it's not Messi who scores first. It is Gabriel Menino, who's been outstanding for us over the last two or three seasons. But don't forget about Messi. Lovely run out of midfield, picking the ball up deep. Not quite coming off for him though. He didn't score in the last game and he's getting bullied this game. <laughs> the opposition knows he's chasing down this record and it might be a point of pride to keep our man from scoring. But you give him enough chances and eventually you think he'll have to find the back of the net. But Messi with uh, over 115 minutes played here, plenty of attempts at goal, still yet to find the back of the net. And it might be coming at the cost of the team here as we're sacrificing team play for the glory of our striker. And time and time again, he's seen out by the defense. Lionel Messi not looking his usual self and honestly looking a little frustrated, if anything, in this one. But pass, 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 and eventually we're going to find our man in the box. And Messi, with his finishing ability, only just a matter of time. He gets his goal, a well-deserved one, and we are well on our way. 14 goals left. And with about as many games remaining in the season, he's going to have to pile on the goals here if he wants to break this record. But it's a great starting point, some really good attempts. Honestly, despite the lack of too many goals, he has looked sharp. And now the pressure is on with not only Messi, but the team. Barcelona up to fifth place and a top four finish. Definitely still in the cards for Barcelona this season, but we will have to keep up this good form. The defense is relentless. And for the first time all season after those January signings came in, we're starting to look like we could actually keep clean sheets. <laughs> and that was our big problem all season. And now as long as the forwards can score goals, we will be good. But Messi, uh, not making the most of his chances here. And there have been a fair few. Sergi now through on goal. What can he do? Well, that's how you finish. The young striker uh, reminds the world that with Messi retiring at the end of the season, he will be our man up top for probably the remainder of this career. Still only 20 years old. And Messi just struggling in chances that he usually finishes in. Honestly, a great save from the goalkeeper more than anything else. But... Like I said, he's given liberty to try and try again in this episode. And the attempt off the corner goes missing as well. Well, he could have had seven or eight. He only has the one to his name. And now we got bigger problems as the opposition scored not one, but two goals. And the game is flipped on its head. Messi struggling, Barcelona struggling. And it's all on the line here late in the match. Messi scoring up with his man and again can't find it past the goalkeeper is this coming at the cost of the team's form here as Messi struggles well Adama Traore goes down and this is a chance if there's ever been one for Lionel Messi free kick right outside the edge of the area just before halftime and oh, it's straight at the hands of the goalkeeper <laughs> I'm getting my hopes up a little too much here and it's gonna have to start to be more team play and Messi unfortunately pulls up could this cost a lot here at the end of the season with not only our star man being injured but with him chasing down a goal record an injury could really be devastating he plays on regardless not uh, calling for a substitution out and hopefully for us he'll be able to play through the pain but we have some big problems now in defense as the opposition are through scoring a third Oh, this could be a pivotal game in our season and we find ourselves not only two goals down but also with the team struggling to really find any consistency. The only bright side here is Lionel Messi is able to play on and apparently the injury he has shrugged off. Thank God for that. And then Sergi with the header down finds Messi in the box. 13 more goals left to go. But unfortunately for the team it is a defeat and our league hopes are slipping this season. 
But we gotta shake it off. Copa de España semi-finals in front of us and with an aggregate 2-0 lead in the first leg against Granada. Hopefully we will pull through in this one. Messi scored two goals in that last match. And uh, if that's anything to go by, hopefully he'll be in for a few goals tonight. But he turns playmaker here early in the match, looking for Gabriel Menino, who can't quite convert. Pablo Torre given the start in this one. What can he do? Sneaks it through for Messi. Lovely footwork, cutting it back and forth, but it's too much in the end. He's been trying a lot these last few games and it hasn't really settled too much for him. A couple goals, but he's going to need to really kick it up a notch if he wants more uh, and really to go on and break this record. But frustration starting to build and a yellow card for our captain. Can Lionel Messi do it? And can we go on to find some success this season with either a trophy or uh, hopefully and a top four finish? Angel Alarcón now, great chance in the box, picks out Messi and... Well, despite missing some chances, he does keep scoring 12 goals away from the record now. And could this be destiny for our striker? It's been a long-running rivalry between him and Ronaldo. And with the latter having uh, retired at the end of last season, Messi, it's all going to come down to these last couple of games. But buckle up. We got some opposition coming back at us. A goal conceded. Thankfully, doesn't end up in anything. We're going to the final, and that is an important victory, uh, aggregate at least, <laughs> for Barcelona. But now looking at our league form, we're in sixth place, five points off of even top five. And Lionel Messi going to have to lead this team from the front if we want any shot at European competition next season. But again, it's not just about Messi, but about the team. And if, another reminder, if you needed any, that Sergi is still a goal-scoring machine. Messi has been starting some of these games up top, but Sergi scores early. And then a comical goal conceded there off of a deflection. And a reminder that, unfortunately for us, our defensive problems do still persist. Chipped over the goalkeeper here and almost conceded. My God, David De Gea just about getting to that one. But <laughs> we are struggling for form, and it's somewhat of a miracle we don't concede. And the game still stays alive because of that, but it's going to take something from our offense here to just get this one going. Sergi continues on after a tackle. Gavi looking to slide it through, and somehow Messi gets on the end of that. 11 goals left to go, and it's not the prettiest goal he's scored in his career, but it's one that just might take him that much closer to breaking the record. Uh, with about, I think, maybe 13 or 14 games left in the season. It's doable for Messi, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. we got a game to see out here. David De Gea, huge save with one minute left in the match, just over the leg of Eric Garcia trying to close that one down. But in the end, that's the one that sees it out. It's as good as a goal, and a 2-1 victory gives us those crucial three points. On we go with the season. But here we go. It's the second leg, round of 16, Manchester City. We got hammered in that first one, 2-0. It's gonna be a big turnaround if we wanna progress here in the Champions League. But if a team was ever capable of it, uh, a team as good as the one we have now should be able to get the job done. We've taken down big teams before, but Manchester City in this career, arguably the best on paper, and we're gonna have a lot of uh, work cut out ahead of us. And now Traore getting forwards, ball over the top. It's not a bad one. Menino flicks it forward for Pedri. Can't quite get there. That's more like it though. The high press of City just getting beaten by our passing. But that might be the nail in the coffin. Shot from very far, makes it 3-0 on aggregate. And then Pedri caught on the ball. Garcia, just like that, in the back of the net. 4-0, as good as over on aggregate at that point. Fair play to Manchester City. They've been devastating. Let's see if we can just salvage some goals at least and keep our morale high. And just like that, Pedri does find one. And uh, at least it's not a total blowout, but uh, pretty much a humiliation there against Manchester City. Our Champions League run comes to an end this season. And now everything left to play for this season is focused on either the Copa de España Cup or hopefully finishing in a top four spot. It is still possible but we are a bit of a ways off still. So we got this many games left, a cup final coming up, uh, and hopefully we can not only find some success this season within us, but get uh, Lionel Messi a little bit closer to breaking that goal scoring record against Cristiano Ronaldo. It is still doable. Levante are next opponents with Barcelona in sixth place. 
It's all about finding that balance. So we're gonna rotate things around a little bit. Sergi shown the bench for this one. Alarcon on the wings, Messi down the middle, and Adama Traore on the wings. No offense to Sergi, he's got the rest of his career to play up top, but uh, hopefully we can find Messi some goals. And off of the corner kick here, it is a lovely effort. Take a bow, 10 goals left. Lionel Messi shows he is still capable of absolutely world-class goals at I think 38 years of age at this point. He's retiring at the end of the season. Again, uh, if you kind of forgot that fact, but uh, he's uh, definitely still among the best players in the world. Pablo Gavi plays it through. Messi one-on-one, -on -one, chips it over the keeper. The confidence starting to flow through our main man up top. And what a deft touch. Oh my God. Two goals of absolute world-class quality, and he might not be done just yet. Adama Traore for the tap-in. Lionel Messi, hat-trick, eight goals left, and that's the kind of goal-scoring form you need to break a record like that. But not only the goals for Messi, but three points for us. Barcelona, sixth place, four points off of a top-four spot now, and Lionel Messi, having scored a hat-trick in that last one, will be the one to watch in this game. Adama Traore, can he set him up again? Menino finishes... Adama Traore and his assists are something to talk about in this one, but our defense still a little bit liable for goals as things get leveled back up. Well, we need more than just a draw in this one. We really need all three points against Real Sociedad. And Adama Traore picks out Messi. That's two assists for Traore. But more importantly, Messi now seven goals away from becoming the top goal scorer of all time. It's definitely doable at this point, especially considering his form in the last two or three games. And now we got to go on and get a victory for the team itself. It is vital to our success this season. Gabriel Menino makes it three, and then Traore caps it off for four. Unbelievable performance. Barcelona's getting to good form at a vital time of the season. And now Villarreal, Barcelona, three points separate us from a top four spot. And as we take Villarreal on, this is the most important game in our league campaign so far. Oh, Villarreal coming very close on that one, but Christensen picks up a red card for that challenge. Oh, very questionable defending there. Honestly, a little bit of a weak call. I think he kind of leaned into that challenge, but the call is the call. We're down a man, and now not down a goal just yet. David De Gea, lovely save. Now we just got to hang on and make sure we at least don't concede a goal, but huge mistake at the back. Barcelona's confidence shaken only 15 minutes into this game. And we concede the opening goal of the game and being down a man now, you probably don't really peg us. Uh, with too likely to get back into this one. Villarreal passing circles around us. And then Martial, top drawer finish. <sighs> Things looking real bad for Barcelona at this point. Can we have an unlikely comeback against the odds? Not looking exactly uh, <laughs> likely right now, but you can never rule us out with the attacking firepower we have. And then Lionel Messi looking to take the game into his own hands. Lovely surging run out of midfield. Messi, oh my god, six goals left. Most importantly, only one goal away from pulling level in this game. And now it's looking like it all might be possible here for Barcelona. Adama Traore finds Pablo Gavi. Confidence flowing through the team now. And the break is on Adama Traore. Can he score? Lays it off for Messi. Unselfish. Messi pulls closer. Five goals away now. But more importantly, we are on level terms in this game. Villarreal. Hopefully we can keep them at bay. But... 3-2, <laughs> and it gets just that much less likely for Barcelona now. Still a man down, and despite the surge in form here in the game. They have maybe put the nail in the coffin, but let's not roll it out. 15 minutes left. Pedri for Sergi, the substitute who's come on. Can we find a goal? Gavi, Traore, can he find the return pass? Gavi, straight down the middle. Where is the defense? Pablo Gavi finishes! 3-3, three, three. and as things hold, we will be salvaging a vital point, and we do. Villarreal 3, Barcelona 3, and we remain only three points off of a top four spot. But now, it's the Copa de España final. It all comes down to this, to determine if we can win some silverware this season. Christensen, after that red card, will be unavailable, so it's the youngster Kaiki who starts in the back line. But most notably, Lionel Messi alongside Sergi up top. Can our strikers get the job done and bring us to glory in Messi's last season here at Barcelona? Well, it's going to be an interesting matchup here, but we're not exactly playing the toughest matchup we could have had, and it is in our favor to go on and win this game. And Gabriel Menino scores the opener. 
quietly having an unbelievable season once again, our number seven. Our right back turns center mid. And how about that from the youngster, Kaiki in the back line, showing his growing confidence in that position. And we bought a real generational talent, it looks like, in that back line. And then Sergi pressing up top, making sure we are reminded of what an unbelievable player he is. And the tenacious tackle sets up Messi to score the second. Well done from Sergi. And Messi now four goals away from the all-time goal-scoring record. It's looking more and more likely with every passing game that he will at least get there and equal uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's record. Adama Traore makes it three, and at this point, it looks like it's probably a blowout here in the game. Menino, lovely run, great footwork, and Messi, how about that? To get past his man, score again, three goals away at this point. It's a great game for Barcelona, it's a great game for Messi. We're not done just yet. Four goals, can we make it more? Yes, Menino, how about that for the vision, and Sergi gets another well-deserved goal. 5-0, unreal performance from Barcelona. And if this is how Lionel Messi ends his career, let it be on a high note. 5-0, a definitive cup victory. And we are really uh, out there celebrating tonight. It's a well, well-deserved win from the team. Take a picture. You got to remember this squad. Some notable players, Lionel Messi in his last season. Sergi coming back from injury, making an impact. Pedri, Gavi, Menino, so many players making their name for Barcelona this season. And now, five games left. Can we get the job done? Sixth place, two points now off of fifth, and three points off of a fourth place spot. We are the highest scoring team in the league, so if our defense can get it together, it looks like we could go on a winning run here with these five games left. Sergi looks to open the scoring here in the first one and does exactly that. Lovely goal, and then can we find another? Yes, Messi, oh, how about that? For a composed finish, two goals left, four games left. It is very, very likely he could go on here. All he needs is one goal every other game, but uh-oh, he goes down injured and with only four games left in the season, precautions are taken, Messi comes off, he will not be able to score for the remainder of this game at least, but if that injury is any worse than something kind of insignificant, his season could be coming to an end. And Adama Traore though on the bright side getting Barcelona in front and then Sergi showing his class in front of goal with a second goal on our way to yet another victory. Three points for Barcelona, fingers crossed for Lionel Messi and thankfully Lionel Messi is fit for the very next game against Atletico Madrid. Nothing too serious, and now he needs to step up against big opposition. We need a win in this game, and Atletico Madrid not letting anything go here. Messi looking to go on a good run, taken out cynically there from the back line of Atletico Madrid, but lovely footwork again. Messi looking up for this one on the wing. Pedri, we just can't play our way through though, and Atletico can't find their way past us either. David De Gea, lovely save. Can't we just hang on here late in the match? Back and forth from these teams, but nothing to show for it just yet. And the final chance of the game comes to the safe hands of David De Gea. Scoreless for both teams and a point apiece. Unfortunately for us, not really enough to pull that much closer to top four, but we are now only one point away. It's gonna come down to the wire, two games left. And Messi, oh, so close to coming that much closer to breaking that record. And now we definitely need a win in these final games. Gabriel Menino, Lionel Messi, can he score? My God, the composure, but he can't beat the goalkeeper. And now we have 60 minutes left. Angel Alarcón, the chance, what can he do? To the back post, Messi scores, and Barcelona take the lead. Messi, one goal away from equaling Cristiano Ronaldo's all-time goal-scoring record. And now, hopefully, we will only be still one point away from that top four spot, depending on results elsewhere. And now Messi into the box. He's brought down. It's going to be a penalty. And how about this for a chance? Lionel Messi up here to tie Cristiano Ronaldo's all-time goal-scoring record. Can he do it? The pressure is on. Messi has scored. And now he becomes the joint top goal scorer of all time. 800 and 63 goals. What a huge achievement for the Argentinian. And now with only one match remaining this season, can Messi go on to break the record in his final game as a player? Well, you talk about high pressure situations, but how about this? One game left, one point away from fourth place. And at this point, all we can do is get out there and get a win, but we have to rely on Real Betis dropping points on the final day of the season if we want a Champions League spot. 
And this could be the game if Messi scores that he breaks Cristiano Ronaldo's all-time goal-scoring record. But first and foremost, the team form is what matters the most here. Messi has had an absolutely fantastic second stint at the club here, and he should leave this team in good shape. Hopefully he can put in one good final performance in his last game at Barcelona. And here we go! Messi! He's done it! Messi scores goal number 864 to become the single top goal scorer of all time. And this will be a night to remember. What an incredible way to overtake his great rival Ronaldo and leave his legacy behind at this great club. You simply can't write a story like this one. Take it in, because we are watching the best player of all time for the final time. <sighs> wow. Well, we've achieved the incredible with Lionel Messi, but do not forget this game is far from over. We're only nine minutes in, and what really matters for us as manager right now is ensuring that we get ourselves a victory and go on hopefully to finish in a top four spot for next season. But it's gonna be a big ask as we have a lot of attacks through the center directly at our goal. And honestly, our defense still struggling to cover some of these chances. Hopefully we can just about hang on. Couple of close calls, only 20 minutes into the game here. We still have a lot to do to see this one out, but the team finally starting to find some more control in this game. Sergi plays it through Triore. Lovely take, lays it off. Sergi scores as well. Well, it's been the past and the present. Lionel Messi retires at the end of this season, but Sergi will stay with us long after he is gone. The 20 year old scores again, and the talk will all be about Messi and his record breaking day, but do not forget, Sergi is one to lead the line for the future. And now we just gotta hang on, chance after chance. David De Gea makes save after save to see them out. Lovely stuff from the goalkeeper. And we just gotta make sure that we hang on here. Half an hour left. Fortunately, our defense remains resilient, which is not something I've said too often this season, but we just about see this one out. Can we clear the ball? Yes! This season's over. Lionel Messi's career also comes to an end. But what a way to bow out. He broke the record and we are able to say a very happy and well-deserved farewell to an absolute legend of the game. Farewell to the greatest player of all time. Well, a bittersweet moment as Messi leaves the club, but we've done it. We finished in fourth place. We will have Champions League football uh, for Barcelona next season. And quick look at the team. Lionel Messi finishes the season with 25 goals and 10 assists. Not bad at all for a 37 year old. I think it's, I said he was 38 earlier. Uh, I think he's getting close, but not quite yet. Sergi though, uh, quietly having an unbelievable season. 26 goals, finishes as our top goal scorer for the second time in three years. And what an unbelievable player he's becoming once again after that injury. Adama Traore also gets better every passing season. 16 goals and 17 assists. Another real star here at Barcelona. Between him and Sergi, we still have a lot to look forward to over the next couple of seasons. Gavi also played well with um, also 17 assists, uh, but Pedri played well. Alarcón had a breakthrough season. Gabriel Menino. So many talented players here at Barcelona, and we just will keep building. Finally, we paid off the debt. We'll be able to build next season, but there's gonna be some chopping and changing. Robert Sanchez wants a move after not playing that much. David De Gea is our new number one, and he put in a transfer request. So, a couple offers coming in. Fiorentina, uh, the, the most likely among them, and the 50, 000, uh, or 50 million dollar, dollar bid coming in. We do sell the player. So we'll have a lot of funds next season to spend, and hopefully we will be able to make some shrewd signings as we go forwards. Tons of players coming back from loan, and we are still putting a big focus here on La Masia talents coming through their ranks. But that's the end of our season, and if you guys want to help manage the team, shape storylines, and get some behind-the-scenes content, join the Discord. Link in the description. It's free. Would love to have you as part of the coaching staff. Also, consider subscribing if you have not already and stay up to date. We'll be back soon with season five. But until then, I'm Respect to Jeff, and I'll see you next time.